and welcome for the poster number 607. Let's type it. I already imported the brain, the gray brain I am using these days. Uh, and uh, I think it is a bit too, too light. So today I will, uh, I will uh, use Photoshop to make it a bit darker. Look like a uh, darker gray. Six, six, and red seven. Oh, is not now. Six hundred seven. Okay. Let's say we are August twenty nine. August twenty nine. I will be called August twenty nine. Twenty nine. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Okay, we will print print the it's done there. It's done come on finish. I'm already doing something else. Okay. I just for select the um, a type layer already. Won't take that time. It's not possible like that. No, no, no. Oh. God. So early, and I already start to follow me. Here you go. Here. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on. No, no, no. What is he doing? Just a selection and I get the color wheel. Really? I am a bit airport now. Come on, for sure. I know you can do it. No, no. It won't be possible like this. It won't be possible. And usually it's long, but uh, now it's, uh, it's too much. I say take the text tool, the type tool. Yes, I come there and I click. And what happens? The color wheel. 
No, 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 it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Uh, please, 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 please. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh, wow. Whew. Already five minutes now, waiting to change the layout. It should take the uh, second. Oh, yeah, it's third. Is it the capital app that I use for record my screen? Will it really take too much power or? Uh, Photoshop is uh, going down these days on my computer. It's pretty boring. No, 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 it's not possible. Come on, I select the text. Yeah, yeah, take the text and I drag it there, yeah, oh, please don't start like that, <clears throat> oh, again, Yes, move. In the right place, please. Show me this grid. Wow. Well done. Congratulations. Well done, Sasha. Bravo. Ah. Hit the command zero for both the wall poster and the color wheel. Again, save the side in case it's... And it's don't start. Damn. Wow, I see terrible. It's really terrible. Eighteen person saving just of the picture of the brand and it's deep at eighteen person. <coughs> oh god, I really have to restart the poster or restart the computer and or restart uh, the computer. 3167, yeah, come on, you are on the right way. 85. Ah, oh, you did it, Photoshop, you did it. Well done. Select the layer, I put it out of my layout uh, layer uh, folder. Ah, oh, no, I have to start the computer. It's not possible like that. Yeah, it's not possible. See you later. So let's see if Photoshop is going better now. Turn you the the light is better when it comes from the top. Don't know why. Maybe it looks more natural, more logic, and let's make this brain darker by using levels in the first time mm. 
Let me see first thing. It's not what I want to do today. Let's see what am I doing? Try that's for the Let me find maybe I should leave it light again and change the color with the little blender so it looks more natural. But I am happy with that blender. So Let's start by check inside the brain some part. Oh, I have to save it. Let's get a part here on the top, um, top left. Left with a rectangle mark tool, select it, copy, paste. The ear icon is a layer, a new layer with the piece of brain I kept. Let's use 120% to enlarge this image. Yeah, transform your yeah. actually activated and I can do that but it is just slow of course that's the transform tool will give you the option to increase the percent size oh no yeah I can well we be we alone we I mean, it's terrible. It's really terrible. That's not possible. Uh, no. Come on. I mean, just go and D there. Oh. oh. God. What happens to you, Photoshop? Oof. So another restart, and I put the uh, I set this part of brand at the one hundred twenty percent with the transform tool, and I create a shadow for it. I paint into the selection there, to it shape. And now filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. 120 pixel. Yeah, it should be fine. Just like yesterday. Let's get a little bit into the brain, something like this. No. Oh. For a wheel. 
it's a new like nightmare now. Nightmare now. It's really horrible to see this color turning. Take over the selection and copy paste it. Oh. Copy paste there. Command T for the transform. And I set it back 120% again. Oh, looks pretty, maybe. Yeah. No, no, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Grab a shadow for this one too. Oh, I should paint it first, for sure. Mm -hmm. Go. Ah, the fuck. Too fast here. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let me make this rectangle mark big and okay. Currency, currently, copy and paste. Currently, transform 120%. Done. Create a new layer, select it, and paint in black inside the selection made from the part of the brain I just cut. And wait a moment. Filter, pushing blur, directly, like that. What are you looking for for this right now? And uh, Photoshop looks, uh, looks, it just works so well. Uh, and it's the, the app, uh, the recording app is uh, really uh, long to play with. 
take too much resources. That's the problem. So let's make a elliptical oval. Elliptical stuff cannot be oval. Let's make an oval. Can see can be like usually. And where is where is it? Wow. You really have to be patient there. Yeah? That's terrible. I already clicked you one time before. Let's do it again. Okay, there you go. And I'll do it again if I change a little bit the shape of the of the rotation rotate it a little bit <coughs> and um, quark it just Like this, let's repeat the process of creating a shadow. Select the some narrow, some nail layer there by right clicking the command and click on the selection. See if you already know that now. Uh, I'm gonna do new layer, I paint it. I click to paint it to black. I know we cannot see the uh, the, the shadow now, but uh, probably more the, the postal progress. Maybe I will add something above and the shadow will appear. Let's try. Okay. It's there. Um, yesterday I I played the rectangles. Um, we have the gradient. And I see today I will do the same. I don't want to do the shape. The shape. And the shadow is above or uh, under. Select this layer. Create a perfect shape with a gradient. Gradient I made yesterday. Let's get rid of the stroke. Go Gradients and don't work. Here we are. Let's put it inside the layer. And not so light, not colorful enough. It's light. It's not like it light, but it's fine. Not that so light. Overlay. Yeah, some effect of blue. 
exits UV light better. The one I need for this simulation. Command E to merge the layer better. Create a new shape. And go on stroke options gradient. Let's place a gradient there. And I feel like this moment pixel is too small. Let's go up to nine. Nine, not enough, I think. Seventy nine is enough. One hundred ninety. Start. It looks okay. Um, so, so, so. So here we are with the rectangle. I, uh, I think the position of this rectangle is fine, so I can uh, rasterize the layer. It will be easier to add a shadow after. For now, we create a mask layer, and I select uh, some part of of the front brain to hide and I will start by this one there, there. No. Here we are. I move the mask layer by create a layer above, set a bar there, paint them black, and then filter and go to black. That's okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it's fine. It's fine. Well, I was thinking this part looks uh, like the moon a little bit, huh? So let's make it similar. Uh, 
Much see more. No, there need a little bit like this. You see there. I believe to make uh, create a rectangle with the color of the gradient. And then Let's go. Uh, change the blending uh, modes to overlay. Merge those two layer together. Duplicate it and uh, create. Uh, but not for me the shadow this time, for me the shadow. Uh, this time I will uh, I mix something uh, light. It's blending mode uh, with blending mode. And one. On the top, uh, like that, it looks a little bit shiny. So that's fine. Select another part here, not with the vertical mark two, but with the rectangular one. Select this part. I can say it because it's empty, of course. I can't see, can't be. Repeat the process of the shadow. Filter the shimper. See the then duplicate it one or two times. Yeah, maybe this one I should be duplicated. Yes, I should stop to see maybe I'm sure it should be this it should be duplicated. One more time, it's more version of it. Do it like this. Place it there. That one should be duplicate to here. Fine. This one too, maybe. Yeah, just go behind there. Perfect. Okay, I got it. Yeah. What I will do now, I will write the title with the vertical type text. And the title is Mental Process Number Six. <coughs> Let's change the color black to a white color. Yeah, paragraph uh, centered. Um, let's play with the leading. Uh, 
کمپوزیسیون رو ببینیم ما استپ چارجینگ Mental process six. So go there and now I realize that the brain is a bit too dark. Of course. But that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. It's not really a big deal. Let's play, let's create a shadow for the brain. Make sure I hit the corner. And when you are ready, so Gaussian blur here. I had a recording problem. I don't know why the software capto froze. I wasn't able to to register the last part of the video. So let's continue. I had some effect pixelate there, shape here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, just a few stuff. Let's uh, continue the poster by adding more geometric shapes like the one uh, there um, maybe searcher will be okay searcher there here let's place it well here maybe it should be high a little bit there like this but not the full I want uh, I only want the stroke let's increase the stroke size Make it just a bit less 79 and placement looks fine like this Oh, I think I want to have to play with the iron. I don't know, maybe a shot. Put a layer mask there. From here, select this shape and paint into it to hide the part of. This, the ellipse and I will do the same there but only on the top of it oh. let's the gradient I said before so it come back to, to the layer mask of the ellipse I there <coughs> and don't
let's place it behind the brand, the brand there. And yeah. Fill it with the gradient again, and I should place it right here. It's okay, just to create a shadow for this one. Question blur with the 27 pixel radius because it's a small shape. Filter, Gaussian blur in progress. Warning, 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 warning. Come on, do it, just do it quick. Yeah, yeah. Merge those layer together. Place one there. Transform by keeping command T a smaller one there. There, it's nice. Duplicate it. Oh, select command for duplicate from the okay. It's out. Place the shape a bit above on the layer. Arborescence. Okay, I didn't duplicate it here. And now I just want to create uh, now maybe maybe uh, organic shape on where will contrast too much or oh, maybe not let's try it yeah like it's selection either red is 0.5 pixel command c command b and i duplicate this part of the frame. Let's place it there. Create a new layer, select the shape, hit B for brush, paint it, and apply the Gaussian blur effect. But it's totally wrong to do because the Gaussian blur effect only adds 60. 60 uh, radius pixels, so I select it from there and type 120, no, 120. Yeah. Oh. Here it is, and it looks fine. Let's merge this the layer there. And Three times it's fine. And it's the craziest duplication from there. Come on, C, come on, D. And do the same process than, <coughs> than usual for quick Gaussian blur effect uh, as a shadow. Filter Gaussian blur it could be too much. 120 uh, radius pixel, go there, type 67, and it's blue. Uh, let's add the shadow, uh, yeah, make a shadow there. Uh, remove the mask layer. Apply C 
Cytic shade there. B. Bank inside. Filter. Burr, Gushan Burr. 67, I guess, fine. There. Up. Uh, so, so now let's see if I can uh, save the file I'm on. So I think now we are relatively okay. I spend uh, too much amount of time on this poster. And uh, let's uh, embellish the overall look by duplicate all the poster, uh, all the layer, merge them, security duplicate, uh, filter, other, high pass, a little, little bit less this time, or a little bit more, like this, okay, uh, overlay, and fill it uh, to fit the transparency around nine, eight, seven. Let's duplicate the layer there and see if um, if other color can look so nice uh, like yesterday. I like it, uh, the change of this kind. This kind of color looks pretty nice, I like it. I think I will go with that. Um, let's uh, create another blank in the mode with uh, vibrance. Let's see what happens there and then. Maybe just saturation little saturation make it good a little bit this is a render it's okay let's add another one uh, change the amount of balance little shadows Yeah. Yeah, looks fine. Let's move all of them uh, there. Center it in the middle. Just to see if the type. I don't know if the it is done. I finished today's poster, so I thank you to follow along this tutorial. Yeah, it's not really a tutorial, I just show the process uh, of my poster. Maybe there are some tips you can take out from it. Or, uh, yeah, it just the purpose is to make you feel better about creating a poster or, uh, or something you want in Photoshop. It's, uh, I want to give you the confidence because there are not a lot of skills uh, you have to master for doing something in Photoshop. But you have there, there are a lot of skills to master to make something good in Photoshop. 
and that's a little difference. So I hope I help you to feel better and more confident into Photoshop by using it. And uh, thanks for uh, subscribe to the channel. Let the thumb up if you like it. And uh, see you tomorrow for the poster 608. Goodbye.